terms of making it the, the highest quality or the most elegant, they will stop at some point because it's too hard. And Apple will never give up because it's too hard or it's impossible. There's no company in the world where there is such a, a reverence uh, for expertise. You don't come to Apple unless you're really good at what you do. The reason you're here, the reason you were hired, is because you're at the top of your field or you have the potential to be at the top of your field. There's a belief in the power of small teams to do really great things. That if you get the right people in the room with this notion of let's just do something really great, then great things can happen. Thinking outside the box, it's funny. We don't even really think about the box. When we go out to do something, we don't start by saying what is everyone else doing and therefore what are the best practices and what should we do? I think we look to say what's the best it possibly can be. We never stop, really, and we were always refining, refining, refining every little last detail until there's no more time to refine. There is no such thing as good enough. It just has to be the best. The best part of working at Apple is actually the, the feeling that what you've brought to the table has contributed to something greater than yourself. And in that way, you're changing the world. We're introducing mind-boggling new, gotta have it, scramble, lines around the building kind of products. And I love my role in making that happen. You will get more out of working here for two years than you will get out of working at any other company for five years, easily. There's a lot of places you can find happiness. Work, when structured right, is one of the few places you can really find meaning. And I think what Apple gives the employees is the opportunity to be part of something really, really meaningful.